first strategy we used today was paired reading because I knew they were going to be presented with some new information and they needed a strategy to help aid in their comprehension. So paired reading, basically you pair the students up together. One student reads the information while the other student listens. And then they have to paraphrase the information that they just learned, that they just read. And the beauty of the paired reading is when they paraphrase, you, they have to think about what they just heard and they really have to internalize and understand what they read in order to be able to paraphrase. They're still at an age where they're trying to learn how to take good notes versus taking down, so rewriting the whole text that they're reading versus not having enough information to have the notes make any sense to them later. So two column notes have really given them that structure. So they're hitting the balance of having enough information but not having extra information that they don't need. So what we're going to do today is you're going to go on propaganda critique and you're going to read some pages that are going to break down what a euphemism is, what name calling is, and what glittering generalities are. To do this, we are going to use paired reading and two column note taking. Okay? Can somebody tell me when we are doing paired reading, what are we doing? Um, one person reads a paragraph and then your partner tells you what you just read to make sure that you both understand it. Okay, so the first person reads aloud. What's the job of the person who is not reading aloud? To summarize the paragraph. Okay, and before you summarize, what do you have to do? Listen to them. Exactly, you have to be listening carefully so you can then summarize. Okay, so after you do that, what, do you, what happens? The person who summarized reads the paragraph and the person who read summarizes for them. Exactly, you switch places. Okay. What if you've read the paragraph and the person who summarized, you, you don't think they really summarized it well or they left out something? What do you do then? You could fill them in or they could reread it. Yeah, you can, you can either go back to the text and reread it if you disagree with what it says, or if you think something has been left out, you can go ahead and add that. So it is a conversation, okay? As you are doing paired reading, you are going to be filling out two column notes today, okay? What's the purpose of using two column notes? You've done it quite a bit recently. So you get an understanding of what you read. Okay, it clearly helps you understand what you read. It organizes you. It organizes you. It helps you focus in on what you are looking for. Okay, so let me hand up these papers. Let's take a second together and read the directions on the two column notes. Take notes that answer the following questions. What is name calling and what are some examples? What are glittering generalities? And what are some examples? And what are euphemisms? And what are some examples? Okay? And two column note taking, it has you organized. So on the left hand column is the propaganda technique, and on the right hand side is where you're going to figure out what it is and also give some examples. So what do you think? What that was about? Mm. Basically, a different form of name calling is more pointed towards the characteristic that they have. Really? That one really is. So that people put the words that they cherish on people that they love that really so sometimes people use words that people react to emotionally and they use them in a way that can help make something bad seem good. So you guys are finished? Yeah. Okay. What was your good point? They're, they're all tied together because this one's bad, this one's good, and this one makes bad seem good. Excellent. Excellent way of looking at it. Okay, so in a couple of minutes, once people are finished, we're going to take some time and talk about that. And that, would be, that, that is a perfect way of summarizing that. I would love for you to share that. Okay.
I think the paired reading went really, really well. The kids, um, it's a strategy they like. It's a strategy they're comfortable with. But not only that, it really makes them interact with the text. Instead of just reading the text and going, yeah, I don't get it, they, they did get it. And by talking about it with somebody and being able to paraphrase it, I feel that they really have the information and we can move forward tomorrow into the analyzing part. It was really neat to be able to walk around and see what the kids were writing. They weren't copying down the text. They weren't copying down full sentences. And I think with it being used in conjunction with paired reading, they had already done the paraphrasing. So I actually saw the paraphrasing taking place in their two column notes, which if they understand it to write it down and to paraphrase, then they have, they're internalizing the information.